Hey guys, what's up? It's PJ back here again, and I'm continuing this snake game. So in this tutorial, we're going to be working on the snake itself. This might be a little bit longer today because, you know, it's the snake. Um, so first off, let's just create a new package. Um, and we'll call this entities. If I can spell it right, there we go. Um, so in here, let's just call this body part because you know the snake has like multiple parts. So um, whoops, what we're gonna do in here is we're just gonna create our constructor first. Um, and our constructor is gonna take three parameters. It's gonna take an x coordinate a y coordinate and a tile size. Now you might be wondering why I'm having a tile slide, tile size. That's because the way most snake games work is it moves by like tile, but it's moving fast enough to make it not seem like that. But that's how they do the collision for like the apple and the snake. So we're going to need to create an x coordinate variable, oops, an x coordinate variable y coordinate variable and we're just going to do width and height um, so this dot x core equals x core this dot y core equals y core and then width equals tiles whoops tile size height equals tile size now um, we're going to have a tick method and a draw method. Um, the tick method is going to... Um, the tick method will just be updating and the draw method is just for drawing on the screen. So the tick method will go in the, in the tick... Um, I'm having a brain fart. It'll go in here and then the draw method will go in here. So, for the draw, the first thing I want to do is set the color to black. And we're just going to draw a rectangle. Um, and the way we're going to do this is we're going to have x core times width, x core, or no, y core times height width height um, and then in here we'll set the color whoops um, to green so basically this is gonna be like the inside of the snake because we don't want it just like a solid green I kinda like it when it's got the border around it so we'll fill another rectangle and we'll do x core times width plus 2 y core times height plus 2 width height alright so that should be it for drawing the, uh, the actual snake um, the first thing I want to do in here um, is actually make like a grid for ourselves so we can see what we're doing. You can actually keep this in the game if you wanted to or you could take it out. It's completely up to you. So first we're going to start with uh, for loop into i equals 0. i is less than width divided by 10 since we're doing we're doing like 10 by 10 tile sizes. So we're going to have every 10 be a line. Um, and then I++. Plus plus. So in here we're going to draw a line. And it's going to be I times 10, 0. I times 10, whoops, not negative 0. <laughs> I times 10, and then height. And we're going to have another for loop and i equals 0, i is less than height 
and I know that the width and the height are the same, but if you had like a different width and height, you'd want to do this. Um, and we're gonna do like basically the same thing. So zero i times ten um, width i times ten. So now if we run this, we should have um, a nice grid on our screen. I'm actually gonna make this color a solid black. Um, there we go, that's better. Um, <clears throat> so the way we're gonna work the body parts in this actually is there's gonna be a array list of body parts so we can like take off and put on new body parts because um, with an array um, in an array it's like a static value for the size of it but an array list can like fluctuate around so that's really nice so what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna create a body part object and we'll call that B and we're also gonna create an array list uh, of body parts and we'll call this snake um, so down here let's actually just initialize this um, snake equals new array list um, body part okay so that's our array list now we're actually going to have a want, want to have our own x coordinate and y coordinate variables. We'll just make these 10. Um, so this will be like where the head of the snake is. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and we're also going to need a uh, like a size variable. Um, just for like the snake size. One second. All right. Um, so what we want to do is in our tick method, um, we're just gonna say if snake dot size is equal to zero. So if there's nothing in the snake array list, we're actually gonna create. A, uh, a new body part and put it on. So b equals new body part and we'll just do um, x coordinate, y coordinate, and 10. And then we'll do snake.add b. So let me see. Um, we're also going to need a a for loop in the paint method for um, <laughs> for we're gonna need a for loop in here uh, to draw the array list so int i equals zero i is less than snake dot size i plus plus um, we'll do snake dot get i dot draw g so if we run this right now we should get a snake here and let me go back body part whoops I made a mistake here it should be width minus four and height minus four um, okay so if you run this again we should get that looks better we should get a um, like one body part there now what we want to do is is um, Create some booleans, boolean, booleans. <laughs> um, this is just for direction and down equals false. So we actually don't want the snake to move every single time the game updates because that would be extremely 
extremely, 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 um, like a lot of, it would move very fast. I cannot think of words today. Um, we'll just make a new ticks variable. And every time this runs, it's going to add one to tick. So if ticks is greater than, let's just say, 250,000, um, what are we going to do? And then we're going to check like what direction it's moving. So if it, it's, ugh, if it is right, do x core plus plus. If it's left, we'll do x core minus minus. If it's up, up y coordinate minus minus. And if it's down, y coordinate plus plus. All right. And then we'll also set ticks equal to zero so it can restart and make this if and what we're gonna do is every single time this if statement is run we'll create a new body part with b equals new body body part and we'll do x coordinate y coordinate 10 and we'll just do um, snake dot add b so every, it'll be moving you'll see here it'll move see um, and if we were to change the direction if we made right false and left true it'll go the other way and the same for other things but I think this is all I'm gonna do in this tutorial so you can see it moves that way and we will actually work on making it like the correct length um, in the next video actually no you know what I can do this right now um, inside this ticks thing right here uh, if statement we'll just add a new if statement so if the uh, snake size is greater than the size variable then we're just gonna remove um, one of the um, the body parts. So it'll remove the last body part. So now if we run this, it should sting. Whoops. Let's see. Let me change this to right. So you can see what happens here. And it's actually not working. Hmm. Hmm. One sec. Let me uh, pause this. Okay, guys, I'm back. I figured out what I was doing wrong. Um, this is a really silly mistake. If we go into this paint method, we're just going to do at the top g.clearrect00 zero zero width height. It actually was removing it, but I forgot to clear the screen. So if we if we look here, we can see that the snake is five long, and it won't exceed that. So yeah, that's that's it for this tutorial. I'll be back next with changing direction. All right.